Recorded live at PRS View Studios in Chicago, this is your Plastic Surgery Minute. Hi, thank you for joining us on Plastic Surgery Minute. I'm Dr. Anu Bajaj and I'm here with Dr. Sergey Turin and we're going to talk about implant-based reconstruction. So what do the results of your study mean for women undergoing implant-based re breast reconstruction? So really they mean uh, improved outcomes. We essentially showed that a application of sub-nitroglycerin ointment uh, on the mastectomy skin can help us reduce, in our practice, the number of complications that these women experience, the rate of wound healing problems, and the rate of additional procedures that they need to undergo for these wound healing problems. So we think that's overall a pretty good thing. That's great. So since it seems to be such a huge benefit, should all women undergoing implant-based reconstruction be treated with nitroglycerin? We think it's probably a little bit too early to say that. Um, the dose that we used was fairly low, and so we're able to achieve these improvements with very, very low rate of uh, complications, essentially almost zero. Some of these things we we're looking for was low blood pressure and headache, mm -hmm. but we think that in the future, maybe it'll be more effective to use a higher dose, and then we'll have to balance that with you know, discomfort uh, because of the headache and low blood pressure. So we might have to be a little bit more selective, but we think that right now, most women will be able to benefit from this low dose nitroglycerin based uh, application. That's great information. Thank, thank you. you. And thank you for watching Plastic Surgery Minute here live at the PRS booth in Chicago. Be sure to tune in for more videos at the PRS Journal's YouTube site.